nation in calling us to prayer. I just want to add that in our community, we have been praying. We started a 40-day fast for the healing of America and the sovereign protection of God. There's some things that we have to make, not diminishing your office, but an appeal to a higher source. We've got to look to heaven. He will empower us, strengthen you, and give you wisdom. Amen. Don't be shy. What do you? <laughs> since what are you shy? I'm, I'm not shy, Mr. President. Mr. President, I, this is a great moment. Uh, the country has a lot of challenges. You know that as president. Uh, to ask the country to turn back to God to pray is is just an incredible thing for a president to do. I guess George Washington was the first one to do it. A lot of Americans may have forgotten that the country was built on a moral idea in the second paragraph of the Declaration of Independence. I know you know it. All men are created equal, endowed by it. their creator, that's God, with certain unalienable rights. Among these, the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's what, what makes us a shining city on the hill that you're uh, the honored president of, and reminding the American people of that is an amazing thing. Well, thank you very much. It's very nice. Appreciate it. Anybody else? Anybody else? Thank you, Mr. President. From the beginning. Go yes, ahead. indeed. Thank you so much for your personal gift to the victims of Southern Baptists and evangelicals and people of all faiths and no faith are out there helping one another. And we appreciate your exampling and going tomorrow to show presence. We call something called the ministry of presence. Sometimes it just means something to be there for people. And I appreciate you already having been there and you're going again. I just deeply appreciate that. And it shows a connection with the people that is so needed. And so I just personally want to say thank you. Thank you very On much. behalf of Southern Baptists and Americans. Thank you. Thank you, very thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Pastor Paula. I just thank you, sir, for calling our nation to God. And it's been an honor to not only know you for 16 years, but to serve with your faith leaders and to say that you always have put God first and you challenge us and continue to challenge us as you lead us. We thank you for your personal works and this, I be, believe, is a new beginning for us. Right. And as we look forward, we are going to see great things come. Thank you for Thanks, this Lord. unprecedented. Thank you. Thank you. Pastor Jeffers? Yes. Prayer? Let's pray together, may we? Yes. Father, your word says, if you're a people who are called by your name, will humble themselves and pray and seek your face. You will forgive their sins and heal their land. Father, I thank you that we have a president, President Donald Trump, who believes in the power of prayer. We thank you for a vice president like Vice President Pence who works alongside of them. And we thank you that the president had the wisdom to call our nation right now for a day of prayer this coming weekend. Father, this is what we need. We pray for healing for our country. Yes. We pray for physical healing for those who have suffered the devastation from Hurricane Harvey. Father, be with them. Provide for their needs. Help us to be the embodiment of Jesus Christ as yes. we minister to them. But, Father, we also want to pray for spiritual healing, emotional healing for our country. This country has been bitterly divided for decades upon decades, and now you have given us a gift. President Donald Trump, who wants to bring healing to this country, and he is bringing healing to this country, and I pray that you would give him and Vice President Pence the wisdom they need to truly make our country the country you want us to be. We want America to be great again, and we can know that America can only be great if America is good, and we know we have a president who wants to make America good. I pray your blessing upon him, the First Lady, their family, Give them wisdom as they seek to honor you. And we pray this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who came and died and rose again, that we might have eternal life. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. 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 Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sometime today or over the weekend, we'll have a decision. We love the dreamers. We love everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.